very active day in the Weather Center. Active indeed. Meteorologist Byron Miranda tracking it all for you. It was. It's going away, but now we've got a hurricane to talk about, okay, believe busy. it or not. So we're going to be busy, it looks like, uh, this weekend. As you see, though, if you're in Oyster Bay or East Hills, you're getting clobbered. When you see that red color on the radar, that means you have extremely strong updrafts and downdrafts. An unstable atmosphere over you, Oyster Bay and East Hills, means that you're going to get soaked within about two minutes without the umbrella. This is going to the north, so that should be out of here within the next, oh, say, uh, 15 or 20 minutes. But we did. We had some strong thunderstorms and tornado warnings. We don't know if the uh, tornadoes touched down. They were radar indicated. They might have. We'll have to check later this after, or, you know, say this afternoon or late this morning when people start to go about and see what happens and see if there's any damage. And then the National Weather Service will have to see if those tornado warnings were actually tornadoes. You look at the frontal system that is associated with this area of low pressure, remnants of Fred, and it's starting to push off the coast. So today should be relatively quiet. Uh, you know, there's a chance of a little drop or two, just like I told you yesterday, I wouldn't take the umbrella. Today, I wouldn't take it either, not after these showers are over. What I'm watching here, though, is Henri. It's a tropical storm. By the time it's just off the eastern seaboard of our area, we're looking at wind speeds at 90 miles an hour. Look at the lines of equal pressure. That is a tightly wrapped hurricane to be over colder waters. Uh, the question is, will it hit us? Most of the models say no. However, some of the models say yes. As you look at this at 1.30 Sunday afternoon, you've got one going into Jersey and you've got a couple over Long Island, three or four. This will change over the next couple of days, but I'm going to watch this for you. And if it happens, uh, you know, Saturday night, Sunday, I'll update you on my Instagram page. If you want to be updated, go to Byron Pix 11 right now on Instagram. Byron Pix 11 on Instagram. Follow me there. And over the weekend, if I think things are going to get towards Long Island or to the city, uh, or Jersey, I'll let you know. Story number two, heating up again. Oh, my. And here's the reason why. The jet stream, that's the door to cooler air or warmer air or hotter air at this time of year. If you have the jet stream taking a drive down south, like in the Greyhound bus towards uh, Tupelo, Mississippi, and Atlanta, Georgia, that allows that cool air in the upper 60s, low 70s over Canada to invade the tri-state. So that'll cool us off. Watch what happens with the jet stream. When it goes north of us, we call it ridging, and as that jet stream allows that hot, humid air to head this way, temperatures will go above normal. That's why we've had so many heat waves, and we may have another one in the forecast. Your temperatures at this hour in the mid to upper 70s, mid to upper 70s, and we will not heat up a great deal today, but we're going to feel muggy. Uh, your temperatures around 85 to 88 degrees for highs today, pretty much where we were yes yesterday. Here's the change. Starting Monday, as the jet stream goes north, then we're going to tap into that heat from the south. Look at Atlanta, 96, 93 in Raleigh. That's headed this way, and, yep, the feel-like temperature could be in the 90s again uh, by Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So uh, if you like heat, that's something to look forward to, right? Today, 86, Marissa. Tomorrow, 88. And then the weekend, uh, we're doing okay over the weekend. We'll have some sunshine mixed in with clouds with a chance of a shower.